give a fuck about nothing. I grind hard. I'm good, but lovey. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Look, I don't even drive my car. I'm good, man. Look where I'm at. Look, I don't even drive my shit. I don't even drive my shit. Now, I don't give a fuck, man. Crazy. I ain't never been one of them niggas, man. I really got it out the fucking mud. You know what I'm saying? Pissy staircases, spin on elevator buttons. I, I, I was in that. I'm, I'm with that. And I never left it. I still go back to it just so I can fucking remember that I'm, I'm part of that. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm over here looking at shit like this, that don't mean I'm different. You know? Just because I'm looking at shit like that, that don't mean I'm different. I'm still the same, Belahi. You know what I'm saying? I'm still the same. Just because I'm looking at stuff like that, man, you know? She. But Beloved is good, though, man. You know, I just want to tap in with the people. I Normally, when I jump on my live, I play music, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to talk to the people, man. You know, I want to let niggas know, man, I'm really getting this shit out the mud. My brothers is good. My family is straight. Everybody's good. You know, um, it's only going to get better, you know what I'm saying? It's only going to get better, you know. Get ready for me to drop this, you know, this amazing body of work. Honor and Prodigy. You know, it has it has great features on there. Like I said, if whoever's, who was it wasn't in here in the beginning, I'm still waiting on Ghostface and Conway. And if they don't make it, oh, well, it's all right. I'm, you know, nigga. I didn't put niggas' names on the projects already, and they didn't make it in time. And it's okay. It is all right. You know, I just, you know, make sure, you know, your health is straight first. That's what's most important. You know what I'm saying? Rap is secondary. This music shit is secondary, man. But to a lot of people, they put this shit first and they forget the real. They forget what they what they really are here for. If you start to generate money off of whatever it is you do and you just think about self and you be a bitch ass nigga. You just think about self. That shit falls apart. You know what I'm saying? It falls apart because not... This shit ain't meant for you to just take care of self. This shit is meant for you to break bread with people. Like, you gotta break bread, man. You gotta you gotta feed your... You gotta feed your wolves, man. You know, all my wolves is good, man. All my brothers are good. I'm a wolf myself, man. I go out there and get it for my niggas, man. You know, ah oh, man, all the features are there. All the features are there, bro. Oh, uh, we just, you know, Khan, Khan got some shit. He, you know, he about to drop again. Um, so you know, niggas be busy. You know how I go, man. I've been busy this whole year, but I still gave out quality features. Like, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm twelve for twelve. You do the average on those twelve projects is roughly seven to ten songs each project. I'm definitely good for 200 songs this year. Quality features with 200 songs from a fucking 12 projects I dropped. Get the fuck out of here. It's 365 days, nigga. I got over 200 fucking songs. Who working harder than me? Nobody. I don't give a fuck. Name them. Who's working harder than me? Nobody. Nobody's working harder than me. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. The beloved's working hard. I'm over 200 songs in, in a fucking year. Quality features, nigga. They said, yo, don't drop a project every month, man. Because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna sound like you you're gonna water your shit out. You're gonna water it down. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when people drop too much, it basically can fuck up the shit they dropped before. You think I give a fuck about what I dropped last month? I'm talking about this month, nigga. You got 30 days to listen to something new. Why the fuck I gotta let you listen to a project for three months? Get the fuck out of here, man. Niggas get tired of listening to the same shit. So you're gonna go back and listen to somebody else? Nah, fuck that. You gonna listen to me every month, nigga. You gonna cop my new shit every month. I'm not giving y'all four projects in a year, and which I will do probably next year, because I done showed y'all niggas I did a project every month. No rapper did it, and if you try it, you late. Get the fuck out of here. 
Straight up. Get the fuck out of here. If you try it, you late, nigga. I might snuff your shit. If I see a nigga try to do 12 for 12, I might snuff your shit. Straight up. I might just find out where you at and pull up on you and just cock off on you. Straight up. Boom! Where that? Fuck is you doing 12 for 12? Nah, nah, nah. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. I did 12 for 12 in a year. I was working on a project and finished that shit. I was working on a project and finished that shit. I was working on a project and finished that shit. That's what I did. I didn't sit on work. Okay, and then just put it out. Nah. Nah. I'll grind at this motherfucker out. I damn near lived in the studio. I went to sleep 2, 3 in the morning. Woke back up 8, 7.30. That's why my eyes look like this. this is a per I got permanent bags. But I got permanent bags too, you heard? <laughs> I got permanent bags too, man. I don't even drive my shit. Look, I got permanent bags, man. Fuck it. I don't care about none of that shit, man. Fuck sleep, nigga. I'm going to sleep bumpy when my day come. I'm going to get enough sleep. But for right now, fuck sleep. I'm grinding this shit out 12 for 12. Ain't nobody did that. Ain't no rapper did that. Ain't no rapper sacrificed a whole year in the studio to drop a project every month. And my shit is ill. I'm working with legends. I'm working with my big, I'm working with the big bros, like, I I, I, I I did a project with DJ Shea, man, like, it, I'm so amazed that I did a project with DJ Shea, God bless his soul, you know what I'm saying, because we was working on that shit, you know, throughout the, the tour and all that, and then it's like, I was able to do that, man, like, you know, I'm gonna tell you the story about DJ Shea, man, ever since I met Griselda and I went on tour with Griselda, um, I didn't have, I, I wasn't part of the budget, so I didn't get paid on none of those shows. You know what I'm saying? I, I did that shit on my own dollar every show. But DJ Shea held me down every show. Every show. Malek, am I lying? He held me down every show. I did not have no money to pay that man. Real shit. I had money. To hold me down on a tour I had money for my hotel rooms I had money for my weed I had money for everything I had money for that I didn't have no money to pay that man You know what I'm saying So I told him I said yo Shay man You know let's Let's drop a project man And um Shit let's break bread You know what I'm saying Like I was I, I never been able to break bread with you on these shows And give you a DJ's Um A DJ's fee Like you know what I'm saying To hold me down even though he was on, he was on the uh, Griselda budget, and he got his bag with Griselda for doing the DJ, you know, for uh, for DJing for Griselda. But with me, I never paid him. So I said, you know what, Shay, let's drop this project. Let's get, let's give him a couple songs together, and um, let's create a bag for ourselves. And we did that, and he let me control the fucking play, and I broke bread with Shay. He let me control the play. He put the project in my hands. He said, Flea, man, you do what you do, how you normally do it, man. And just take care of me. And I was able to do that. So, you know, um, the fact that I, you know, I got a project in with him. And like I said, the history we had where I, I wasn't able to break bread with the big bro. And we did a project and we broke bread. That shit really like, that shit brought a tear to my eye when, it, you know, when, when all of that shit Went down the way it did, but I I said to myself, you know what? I was a genuine friend. I was a genuine friend to bro. And that's why the love is there, and that's why I was able to, you know, feel what, you know, everybody else felt because I love that man. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all on there, RP Chinks, RP Stacks. I see y'all, man, of course. You know, we carrying the legacy of the bros, man. Like, I'm really from Far Rockaway. I was born in Far Rockaway, so of course I'm gonna rep my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Chinks was that was my that was my that was my dog. Like another thing, when I when 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 Chinks passed away, um, I was out doing some fuckery, and I shut my phone off so I didn't be bothered by anyone. And when I woke up, my, you know, the next morning, and I, my my phone went crazy. Like I had so many texts and calls, and Instagram was going crazy. That shit broke my heart too. You know what I'm saying? So. uh you know, I'm doing this shit for all my fallen soldiers. I'm doing this shit for all my brothers that's alive right now, pushing as well. I'm making sure that there's a way for all of us. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just worried about Flea Lord. I worry about everybody. What's grown, my fucking brother? Okay, okay. I see you, whoa. 
You know, I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm putting everybody in position, man. Um, I ain't one of them niggas that get a bag and start buying all this jewelry because it's nothing to get heavy. I can go get heavy right now. I can go get heavy right, but that's material shit. I'm going to buy a house. I'm gonna put my brothers in a house. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to buy a house. Like this is something I've never, ever, ever, ever thought I would even do. I never even imagined moving out of the jets. I was stuck in the slums. My mind was okay with living in the jets and every day grinding and struggling and grinding and struggling, but still staying above float, making sure all my kids is good, making sure everybody was straight, making sure I was still doing that on the on the illegal side of things. But then I put my shit together, put all my thoughts together, and I said, I gotta go hard with this fucking, you know, with this music shit. I gotta go hard with this music shit. And then I did that. I stopped selling drugs. I stayed out the street. You know what I'm saying? I was still in the mix of things. You know what I'm saying? Don't never get it fucked up. And, you know, I'll be running around here with the grip and all that. Like, I'll be wilding. I'll be wilding sometimes. But I'm gonna tell y'all something, though. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I wish a nigga would try me. Like, Try me for the little trophies that I'm just getting right now. I wish. Because I, I really... What, what Conway said about... Uh, I throw all this shit away and have people saying, You stupid, nigga. I really would do that. I won't just talk about it. I will throw all this shit away in a second. If anything get out of line with me. I, I don't give a fuck who you are, man. I try my best to keep it cool. And I know that basically I am the bag. Everyone says, Yo, bro, you got to protect the bag. I am the bag. Yes, I am the bag. But I don't give a fuck neither. I am stupid. I am stupid. And I will lose it. So I'm trying my best to keep it cool. And put on, you know, for, for the Lord, my for my brothers, my family. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it's about, you know? I'm just talking my shit, man. And just letting y'all know, man, uh, you know... Flea Lord ain't nothing to fuck with when it come to spitting. I'll go, I'll go at your favorite rapper. Straight up, fuck your favorite rapper. I didn't said it. Your favorite rapper can't fuck with me. That's why motherfuckers be acting blind. Motherfuckers be acting blind to what Flea Lord is doing. You know why? Cause I'm lapping these niggas. I am lapping these niggas, man. Name them. I'm lapping them. I'm lapping them. I'm fucking lapping them. Straight up. Name them. Whoever. I don't give a fuck. I'm lapping them. I'm talking my shit. I'm not running out of bars. This is my life. When you're a real nigga, you could talk about it. You heard? Motherfuckers be fabricating their stories and lying in their raps. That's why you run out of raps. Because you're lying. You need more lies. I don't lie when I rap. I tell the fucking truth, man. And that's why the people fuck with me. They fuck with me because I keep it tall. I don't lie in my raps. The beat come on. If the beat is the if the beat is the right beat, I'm starting a drum. That's it. My first four is gonna catch your fucking attention. And then from there we rolling. But I don't fabricate these stories. Listen to my raps. Any rap, you don't hear me talking about ball main seats. I never heard of it. You don't hear me talking about me having ball main. Even though, no, even though we got it. I'm not, you know, it's four grand, nigga. But fuck that money shit. I be out here with a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Four grand, nigga. That, that, that coat right there, four grand. And I only spent it because I never spent four grand on a coat. I'm a, I'm a $500 coat nigga with hoodies and thermals. Y'all niggas know me. But yeah, I don't talk about shit unless we got it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all thought this was just a regular, a, a regular degular, huh? Nah. <laughs> no. Fleet on us stepped it up a little bit. Yeah. You know? But, you know, these niggas be fabricating in their stories. Talking about shit. Like, I can't I can't talk about drugs all the time in my music, right? Because if I was still selling drugs, I wouldn't be making music. 
So I can't talk about that. I can't talk about shooting people all the time. Because, like, there's niggas in my hood that rap about drugs and killing shit. And it doesn't stop. It's still drugs and killing shit. This, I hear it. How are you going to level up as an artist, right? When you're not opening your mind to rap about something else. You're talking about the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing, right? But if you are selling drugs, right? Then why are you rapping? I know when I sold drugs, I ain't had no time to go to the studio. Like, what the fuck? Studio? Nigga, I'm waiting for this phone to ring. So, I say that to say this. Like, motherfuckers be talking about bricks. And, you know, all this, all this. If you had a brick, my nigga, why are you rapping? I know I'm getting to the trapping if I had a brick. You know what I'm saying? Um, And then when you talk about killing people all the time, like that shit just makes us look crazy as people in whole. So I don't always want to talk about killing shit. You don't never really hear me saying, you know... You know, I'm I'm gonna shit down or shit like. I just don't rap like that, man. I I rap reality rap, but when you are talking about killing shit, you're lying. You are going home to your family. You are not killing no fucking body. So stop it in the raps. Stop it. You not letting no fucking chopper fly. Stop it. You're going home to your family. You are not killing nobody. And you are not selling those drugs. <laughs> I was selling drugs, nigga. I ain't have a brick. I'm keeping a tool. That's every hustler's mentality is to touch a brick. None of you niggas touch the fucking brick. Stop fucking lying. Stop. Stop it. You're not killing no one. You're not selling no drugs. So with those raps, and I say that to niggas in my hood too. I don't give a fuck. I'll pull up on you and tell you. Please. Try to read a book. Elevate your mind. Come up some with some other strategic ways to fabricate a story. It doesn't have to be about drugs and killing people all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody want. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, I listen to my music. I'm telling you a fucking story or some shit that happened with me. I'm not telling you some shit that happened with somebody else. I'm not telling you some shit about... No, I'm talking about Flea Lord. Wow. I caught that... I caught your comment crazy. Why, why would I be talking about a brother of mine? I'm saying a fact. I'm not talking about my bro. But I'm saying a fact with any rapper. And niggas in my hood too. Any rapper. You cannot fabricate these stories. You smell me? You cannot. You can't talk about shooting shit all the time. And you can't talk about drugs all the time. It's just not gonna work. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest, my nigga. When Flea Lord was selling drugs, I was not talking about selling drugs. I was selling drugs and getting to it. You know what I'm saying? When niggas is talking about bricks and... and, and, and and killing shit and all that. That's cool and all. That's cool. But it's a lie. I don't lie in my raps, bro. I don't fabricate stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, P better be proud of me, man. Because you know what? I do this shit for Prodigy. I don't rap for Flea fucking Lord. I rap because P said don't waste your talent. And I haven't done that yet. I've been pushing since 2017. I released my first project. I lost my brother in 2017. And I was ready to quit rap. I was ready to quit rap. You know what I'm saying? But I stuck to it. I stuck to it, man. Let's see how, how'd it go. It went good. It went good? All right. We get the results back in a week, though. All right. Well, I... I just got great news. Everything went well. So I'm happy. You know. And now I can go smoke some weed. And get out this car. You know. But yeah man. I'm just. You know. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying. I'm just being honest. I, niggas. You know. 
you can't talk about the same shit over and over. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lie. Straight up, it's a lie. I don't lie in my raps. Flea Lord is is reality rap. I'm telling you shit that I've know, I've been through, and shit that my homies can relate to. You know what I'm saying? There's no fabricating these stories. Yo, Nitty, tell him the fucking truth, bro. What we come from, man. Man, you know they don't know, man. Pounds, whoa. Yeah, you know, this is all reality shit, man. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it tall, man. I don't, y'all niggas sit down with y'all pee. <laughs> y'all niggas sit down with y'all pee, man. I'm keeping it all the way tall, man. Yeah, man, shit. You know, I'm, 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 I'm originally from the rock, man. So I know. It's 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 a cold world, man. Like my mom's was murdered in Far Rockaway. Niggas killed my mom's when I was eleven. Like, bro, I'm from the fucking cloth, man. I'm from that cloth. Like I lived this shit, bro. I lived this shit, man. I promise you, I'm from that era, and I'm just telling you the truth. These fucking rappers be lying. They be capping. They be capping, they be rapping, they be tapping, they be flapping. Stop, man, with this fucking scary movie, scary movie raps, man. <laughs> ah! Yeah, man, I'm just, you know, I'm blessed, man, I'm blessed. You know, we all blessed, we alive, so we can make change, you know what I'm saying? As long as you can touch that ground and wake up, you know what I'm saying? Get those feet on that ground. Start your day off strong, man, you know But I'm blessed, we're all blessed We're here, we're alive, man But Flea Lord raps reality raps I I rap about the shit I live, man So don't start telling me Yo, so-and-so, you know, he rapping in the hood Fuck that nigga Give a fuck Fuck him I don't care what he's doing Peace and blessings But fuck him, I don't care Like, shit, I don't care what nobody doing, nigga, I don't care about what the mob doing, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm just talking my shit, man, like, if you're not a part of my circle, then I don't give a fuck, y'all know who my circle is, like, so, the, the homie that put that up, and mentioned Butch, I don't know why you mentioned Butch, like, Butch is my brother, like, what the fuck, but, if you taking that because you saying I'm talking about bricks, like, Nigga, I don't, I'm not talking about him I'm talking about niggas in my hood I just said that There's niggas where I'm from that's talking about They doing this and this and that But You still walking around in the hood You know what I'm saying? You still walking around and going to the Jets I was, I was, I was never rapping Um, about the shit I did and was going back in the jacks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I switched that shit up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to level up. When you work hard, you have to see some progression. You know what I'm saying? You have to see some money coming in so you can say you're a successful artist now and not just a rapper. You know what I'm saying? You have to make some money off of your craft. I've been making money off my craft. I've been making money off my craft. Like, I made sure that I can put down drugs and say, you know what, I'm not hustling no more. And I did a whole year without hustling and really fucked with this rap shit. Broke as a joke. Going, pulling up on Frenchie without weed. When Frenchie had fucking weed there, I was smoking Frenchie weed. See, I could talk, I could talk about the real shit. I could talk about when I was fucked up. I could talk about it because, you know what, I done leveled up. And them same people that, I, you know, when I leveled up, they leveled up with me. You know what I'm saying? I was one of them niggas that was broke in the change jar for a whole year, fucked up, and still making way for me to travel with whoever I was traveling with, whether it was Griselda, whether it was Pete when he was alive, whoever. God bless Chink So. I did a couple shows with Chinks running around with him, but I always made a way for me to go where I had to go and had uh, uh, Fazul's in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? So I can pay for what I had to pay for for me. Not sit there and not get nothing because somebody else couldn't pay for it for me. It was never like that. You're a grown man. You get on your two. You make it happen. I did that. I made it happen. And I went from tours to selling drugs. I don't know what niggas from them tours that I was on went back to selling drugs. 
They went collect their bag and sat back and got back with their family and enjoyed their bag from their craft. My craft, I wasn't getting paid for my craft. So when I was going out there and giving y'all my craft, I was paying for myself to get there and put myself there and not make shit back. And not make a fucking penny back. Spending 6000 7000 8000 on fucking tours and coming back broke to sell drugs and to do it again and do it again. And now, shit, I'm up. I'm up. And my niggas is up with me. You know what I'm saying? You got to break bread with your woes. You know what I'm saying? You got to stand for something. And I'm, I'm as solid as they come. I will never let none of my brothers down. Yo, yeah, we was in Miami with, come on, man. Yo, West Grove, niggas don't even know what we shot out there. Wait till y'all see the video of me and Crown when that come out next year. We shooting, we shot, we shot a video, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, we was in ranges and things and five-star hotels. Talk about it, West Grove. Okay, okay. Niggas don't know what we was doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Had my lady out there fucking driving a range. Come on, man. Then came on to the X6. Let's do what the fuck, man. I was in the change yard. Come on, man. Yeah, you got to grind hard. Stay out the way. Grind hard. Don't fall into the trap. Because I definitely fell into the trap a couple times. And it almost made me quit rap. Because I was ready to take this shit to the streets. Like, with certain things and certain people and everything. Like, I was ready to lose it. Like, even niggas in my hood. Like, y'all know what's up, man. Y'all know what's up. And there's like about two, three niggas that... That when I see you, it's on site. There's about two, three niggas when I see you, it's on site. All this Instagram shit you talking. All this shit y'all niggas talking about. I dead at y'all and I took loyalty of death from y'all. Motherfucker, fuck you. Fuck you. I ain't take loyalty of death. Nigga, I put my name on it. Stamped it. So if you want to say I stole it. Yeah, fuck it, I did. What's up? Do something, pussy. Fuck out of here. Say I stole it. Yeah, all right, I did. What? Nigga, I ain't never been grimy. I ain't never been that type of nigga. So I ain't steal shit. I never stole from nobody. But if you want to say it, then fucking say it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I stole it. Nigga, you pussy. Suck my dick, nigga. When I see you niggas, it's on sight, nigga. Straight like that. And have your fucking gun on you too, nigga. Have your gun on you too, pussy. I'll beat you up, nigga. Give a fuck what they call you, nigga. Give a fuck what they call you, nigga. I, I get it. I get it rocking. I get it rocking. So if you don't want to fight, nigga, have your gun on you, nigga. And bust that shit. Fuck out of here, nigga. Niggas is pussy. Yeah, I stole it. I did it. What? <laughs> fuck out of here. But when I catch you, niggas. It's probably three niggas. When I catch you, niggas, and I see you. It's on site. That's it. Just be ready. Why? <laughs> yeah. Niggas is mad at me. Don't be mad at me. It's gonna be all right. It'll be fine, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm shit. Let me get back to doing what I do. I'm about to go pick up my weed now, man. I'm out of here, but yeah. Del deliver the message. I don't care. <laughs>